In Power BI, slicers are the main way that you're going to interact with a given report. There are other ways to interact, but this is the one that you will use uh, by, by far the most often. So here I am, um, I'm in the tutorials app and the tutorial report, and I'm on the report page called Slicer 1. Now in this report page, what you'll notice is I've got uh, this line chart over here with sales over time, and this column chart down here with sales by country. And right now I'm just kind of looking at everything all up, not uh, sliced down to any particular year or anything like that. But if you notice right over here, I've got these three things. Well, these things are called slicers. You may not know if that's what they were called, but that, that's what they are. Uh, and they're actually pretty intuitive to work with. So right now, if I'm, I, I'm currently looking at several years, if I just want to look at one year, I could just click on this little drop down button right there. And here's my three years that I could work with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 2018, right? I'm going to click that to close the slicer. And now I say, you know what? That's pretty cool. I do want to look at 2018, but I also want to look at, maybe just I want to look at North America. So I could click on North America there, hit that little up arrow. And lastly, I want to want, want to look at one particular product category. So I click on that and I say, you know what? I just want to look at bikes because that's what I find most interesting. And just like that, it's very easy to interact with these slicers. Uh, and if I want to change one, again, it's about as easy as, as you'd expect. Let's say I don't want to look at North America anymore. Let's say I want to look at, I don't know, Europe or the Pacific. I could just come in here and just click on Pacific and boom, just like that, it works. Notice how everything uh, automatically just sort of redraws itself when I click on these slicers. No additional steps that you have to do, okay? I'm going to switch this back to North America just because I like having two columns there. It makes me feel better about things. Okay, so I'm going to pop over here to the next page, right? Uh, the, the, the main type of slicer, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll pop back just to really emphasize this. The slicer that I use most often when I'm designing reports are these drop-down slicers because I think they're very space efficient. Uh, what do I mean by a drop-down slicer? Well, it drops down. So like when I click on it, uh, I get this list that drops down. I pick something and then I hit this up arrow to close the list. There are other types of slicers too. So if I come over here to this next page, right? Uh, a common type of slicer for dates is this slicer right here, right? So uh, what I could do with uh, this slicer is, uh, well, as you'd expect, I could just grab each one of these edges and just sort of drag it and say, I want to look from that date to that date right there, right? Or uh, if I'm so inclined, I can even do things like actually type in an actual date. So let's say that I want to look at, oh, I don't know. Let's look at, 1 1 2018 2018 oops 1 1 2018 it helps if you type in a date that you actually have data for 1 1 2018 and i want to go to i don't know uh 2 2018 and just hit enter and boom just like that it filters it for me now because I'm only looking at stuff over one particular month, I don't have a lot of data in here. Let's set this up a little bit higher, shall we? Let's set this to, I don't know, 428-2018. There we go, that looks a little bit better, okay? Uh, in addition, you can also, as you may have noticed, if you click on this guy, uh, you could type stuff in, but you've also got this handy calendar picker. So you could uh, sort of move back and say, you know what, I wanna start on this particular somewhat arbitrary day, right? And that works just fine as well. Uh, additionally, you will often see these uh, slicers a lot. These are very common. These are sort of actually the default slicer in Power BI. Uh, they're very easy to work with. They just take a little bit more room than the drop-down slicers. Uh, with these guys, it's uh, uh, even easier than the drop-down. You don't have to click the little drop-down button. All you got to do is click on the thing that you want. So if I want to look at North America, boom, I just click on it. And just like that, I'm looking at North America, right? So you may be asking, okay, it's cool that I can select stuff, but how do I clear a slicer? And there's sort of two ways to do it. There's sort of two ways to do it. So let's say that I'm looking at this page right here, right? And right now I've got a slicer for fiscal year equals 2017. Uh, and I want to get rid of that selection. I'll, I'll show you a second way to do it. But frankly, the easiest way that I find is uh, once something is selected, just click on it again and it'll clear the selection, right? So since 2017 is selected, if I just click on it one more time, Boom, now I'm looking at everything, okay? So just so you can see that again, let's imagine that I click on 2018 because I want to just sort of go down and look at just that year. When I'm done looking at 2018, I could just hit it again and boom, it clears that selection. Now, if you don't like that for whatever particular reason, there's another way to do it. Uh, I don't use this as often, but it works pretty well. For any one of your slicers, like right now we've got our region slicer right here and we're just looking at North America. If you go to the top right corner of the slicer, you'll see a little eraser icon. Uh, if you didn't know what that was, that's what it's supposed to be. It's a little eraser. Uh, and it, what does it do? Well, it erases the uh, slicer selection. So you can just click on that as well. 
and that uh, makes it nice and easy. Again, uh, either way it works, they do the same thing. Uh, it's all about personal preference. So what happens, what happens if you've got a bunch of slicers uh, selected, right? And you want to uh, just sort of go back to the default, right? So let's say that the default for this page is just looking at bikes, uh, but none of this stuff is selected. So I'm gonna just sort of change things a little bit. I'm gonna click on 2016. I'm gonna click on Europe. In fact, I'm gonna click on 2018 because there's more selections. Uh, I'm just looking at Europe and I'm gonna click on clothing over here. And uh, let's say that uh, that's nice. I could see the information that I care about, but I, get, I got kind of lost. And what I wanna do is go back to whatever the defaults for the page were. Uh, oftentimes the defaults will be no filter selected, no slicer selected. Uh, other times it'll be sort of the most common selection. Regardless of what it is, to get back to it, all you got to do is find this button up here where it says uh, reset to default and just click on it. Just click on it. It says, are you sure you want to reset filter slicers and other data to, and view the changes you made? Uh, sure, yeah. And just like that, I go back to the way it was before.